You guys, welcome to our channel. If you are new and coming to the channel for this table, if you are regulars, you'll know that we've been working on this project for a really long time. <laughs> it's supposed to be a weekend project. Turn it to like a month. But. Yeah, this is not a weekend project unless you have the entire, you know, 24 hours a day for the if entire you, weekend. If you really know what you're doing, you got all day, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, welcome to our channel if you are new. So we have a video today showing you how to make this table. We are not experts. Some of the tools that we used in this video we have never used before. We wanted to do this to inspire you to make something and push yourself outside the box um, and challenge yourself to do something that you haven't ever done before, which is what we did, right? Yeah, so the tools you need are a chop saw, table saw, drill, Craig jig. Sanding tools. Sanding tools. Um, they're not, they're super common. Yeah. You'll see them in the videos, but they make the project doable. So the other disclaimer that I have for this video is that I'm not in it very much. And I didn't know that until I went to edit the video when the table is all done. So I worked on this table just she as was, much as she did. She did lots and lots, probably more hours actually with the sanding. Yeah. Um, but most of the time when we were working on this project, I was kind of a hot mess because I don't need to get ready in order to sand a table for seven hours. So I just didn't want to be in front of the camera, and so and sometimes he had a better way of explaining what we were doing than I did. Um, but we fed ideas off of each other. We had struggles. We had things that were done the wrong way. Total team effort. Total yeah. Team effort. So we were both doing this table together. So I don't want you to think that because I'm not in the video that I didn't do it. Anyway, so that's kind of a disclaimer. I think that's it. I, yeah. We'll come so, along and watch us see how we made it. It was it's a fun project. There's lots of steps. Yep. So I got the plans from Anna White. Um, but I also watched a lot of tutorials from Shanti to Chic. They have really awesome t uh, YouTube videos um, kind of showing some of the tricks to making the table that we did. And I took a lot of those ideas from their channel um, and put them into mine. And I think that's the whole idea that I wanted to do this video for is to show the average person making this table, not just some that does it for a living. Um, this is the biggest project that we've ever, ever done. Let's just go and I'll show you how we made this table. Thanks for subscribing. Yep. Thanks for watching. Click the bell and You'll come back for more. Come back for more. Okay. Let's go. sweeping up our mess in the background this is a two by four but we have a two by six that we just ripped down so this is how they come and they come with like the beveled edge and we want it to look a little bit more clean line oh they call it a Brilliant. crumb catcher when you have this little soft edge right here so when you're putting all these boards next to each other then the crumbs are gonna fall down in creates a divot yep so what, we're, what we did is that we took off a quarter inch on each side of the board. The boards are two by six by eight, and we took off a quarter inch from each side of the board, but then you had to account for your blade width, which for us was an eighth of an inch. So that's kind of the math that we kept having to do for each of the boards that we cut down, but it creates this really good streamline look. You'll go ahead and rip down the sides of every single board, the two by sixes, and the two by fours and get all of them ripped down and cut straight on the edges. We were feeding the board through and it kept getting stuck. We had no idea why. And we found this little thing. It's like a perfect, what is that? A twig, a branch? Anyways, we don't want a hole, so we're gonna try to glue it back in. Okay. So now we are gonna take some glue, run down in there and try to just make it stay in place because we don't want this hole in our table, do we? No. No. show you what that looks like right now for the tabletop. So once you have them set, you want to mark them because there's no way to get it back to the same way if you don't kind of mark them. So 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our pocket holes into each of these boards. What we're going to want to do, and we'll show you when we do it, but we're going to put two pocket holes in each end of each board on both sides here. And then we're also going to put one on each side here going into so that we can nail it into the boards going across this direction as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, what is it called? Craig Jake. Craig Jake's work. So we're going to go do that now. All right, you guys, are, we're completely different day. This is going to take us a couple weekends to do. Not that it's a couple weekend project, but because we don't have a whole lot of time each time. We, you're in my way, Hen. You're taking my camera shot in here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where to stand. Okay, so we're... We're to the point now where we are putting in our pocket holes. And we've got our Craig jig here, and we're putting in two pocket holes. Which look like, yeah, I'll come up they look like you. this, is what we're trying to achieve. So we've got two pocket holes, one on each side, but we aren't the expert on it. I went online and did my own YouTube video on how to get this all set up. I've watched the video, so I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm He's God. not. He's a guy, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna drill our pocket holes on each end of our boards, on each end of the eight foot boards, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's do this. You're acting all like macho now, but you're doing this on camera. Oh, shut up, I'm not acting macho. It's called being a man. Oh, stop. <laughs> So we have done, so how many have we done? Four, Four now, so far. Yep. So we have five more to go. So we're gonna just finish the pocket holes. You can see here, Jason can show them where they go. So once we got the pocket holes, drilled into the end of the board so we started drilling into the sides of each board running along the entire length of the board there's no rhyme or reason as long as they're about a foot apart as soon as we got all of the pocket holes drilled in all nine boards we started screwing them together we would use the long clamp and i would stand on the boards to make sure that they were even and then we would screw them in together Okay, so we our clamp let us do about four boards together. So we did four, did and four, five. five, and now we're trying to put everything together. So we're putting it, trying to make everything's level, flush. She stands on it. Thank you. Kick it. Together. We're we're together. We're pretty good. Okay, what one do you want to start with? Uh, let's just do this let's one. Do that from here. Okay, so we're done with the board. Got all of them screwed together. And then we have this other four by six that we have stripped down the sides, just like the other ones. And then Jason's going to mark it really quick. Measure it, it's still flush down there, we're good? Um, yeah, let's double check that. Yep, we're flush. Okay. Push it a little bit, that's flush. Okay. Nope, a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I gotta get it. Yes, that's good. Okay, so he's marking that measurement to be exact. And then I'm doing the top part so I can see it with the chop saw. Yep. Let's go chop it. Are you want to do that, huh? Yeah, I get to chop it. All right. It's my first time on the chopper. All right. So we have the first one cut 
And now we can cut this one exact on the other side. All right, let's go cut it. All right, Jason's getting set up here and I'm gonna go and help hold the board down. We've got our screws and we're, we've got our pocket holes all ready to go. We're just gonna screw two screws in each board into the breadboard. You ready? Yep. Okay, so that didn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> but we're being honest, we're learning how to do this and this is why we wanted to show like how real people do this, not just like major woodworkers. So we push it up against this shelf in hopes that we can get leverage from the other side. So. It was just pushing the other board away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that works good. Okay, our next step is to work on these little cleats that are attached to the legs of the table. We've done two of them so far. We wanted to kind of show the angle cuts that you're gonna do. Jason, you wanna pick one of them up? Okay. okay, so here's our two by four, and we have ripped the sides down, like all the other pieces of wood that we've done. See how they're straight and- Squared off. Squared off. Then what you're gonna do, our board is measured at 39 and a half inches. Then we're gonna cut 30 degree angle off the end, you can actually see the 30 degree angle right here. And then you're going to measure one and a quarter inches in. And from that point out, you're gonna cut a 45 degree angle, which is this one right here. So let's go to the saw and I'll show you what that looks like at the saw. Okay, okay so we're gonna measure 39 and a half inches on this board, which we've already cut. Then we are going to line it up with the saw here. It helps us get the angle cut, okay. right? Here, go to 30. And it has a little angle on there for you, so it makes it nice. And then, cut. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn it over on this side, you want to measure from the long tip in one and a quarter inches. Okay, so you're going to measure one and a quarter. Oops. You've got to get to the top side, so. Okay, now what we're going to do, I have this mark. We're gonna go line up the blade at a 45 degree angle and at this point here, instead of the edge of the board, we're gonna line up the blade right here against our line. Makes contact right there. Okay. So that makes for that nice beveled out little rounded edge there. So pretty cool. We're gonna do the rest. So now, if you can envision this, this is the bottom, this is what's gonna be on the ground, and we're adding sort of this, uh, I don't know, what's it called? Like a extra little board, skirt accent piece thing. So we're just measuring that, and then what we're gonna do is, come on over here, show you. We then glue them together. We're gonna glue each of these pieces together. We're clamping them, and then we're gonna add screws for strength, and then, just so you can visualize what we're talking about. This is like the bottom. These will be the legs going up to the other part of the table up here. So that's what we're working on is getting these bottom stacked pieces to be all together one piece so we can start to like add to it. So there's a lot of gluing and screwing and Craig jigging 
So <laughs> we'll just keep doing it, making up as we go. We've run into a few hiccups, so we're just working our way through them. But hey, it's, we're having a lot of fun, so come on. So where we're at now, just give an update. We took our two by four, squared them off. We now cut the length for our legs. We glued two pieces together and then drilled them together to make these nice sturdy legs. Um, then what we've done is we have taken those legs and attached them to this other piece. And we attached them with four screws, you can see there, so that we have the piece because the next layer is going to go on here. And this is where the top of the table will be, okay? So the top of the table, and we're just gonna screw these in, but the top of the table is gonna be here. So we're doing something different than the instructions. Uh, we wanna have the legs removable so we can store it in winter. What we're gonna do is take these bolts with these called T-nuts, thanks to Dana's dad, he came up with the idea. The little T-nuts, and bolts and we're going to bolt this to the top of the table so that these can be undone and we take the legs off uh, that's the plan so hopefully it goes as we want but anyways that's where we're at so the next stage is to attach these the other thing we've done to prepare for attaching the base of the legs and we'll it'll be obvious as we get going is we took and we did our little Craig jig holes on three spots of the legs so that we can attach the bottom layer, um, which we'll show you later. But uh, anyways, that's where we're at. So we're now putting this top piece on, like I was talking about. We're putting the top piece on. Dana's lined it up where we like it. But we're putting this clamp on here because this is kind of bowed. And so we need this to come together in the center so we can screw it. Um, so that's why we're doing this clamp. update on what's going on we have our legs and we drilled our holes here because like I said we want the legs to be removable so we drilled our holes and we used our t-nuts that uh, showed you earlier and um, it would have been nice to show you how they go in but I got excited and put them in we still have two more we need to do but Lowe's and uh, Home Depot were both out of them crazy but anyway so we drilled our holes, we have our bolts. The bolts are gonna go through here into these T-nuts we've put in. I think you can see my finger down here and stuff. Into these bolts so that we can then take these legs and bolt them on and make them removable. The next stage for us to do is this top piece. So well, I think I'll show you a closer up view of the T-nuts in there. Okay, so closer up view of the T-nut here pounded in. And as you can see our lines, you really got to make sure that you get everything lined up before you drill. But um, we you can see we played around a lot. Anyway, so the bolt will go through the board in here and screw in and just really anchor everything in. And we put three in. We decided to do three on each uh, set of legs. There we go. Okay, so we got the bolt in so now we are attaching basically this is the top of the table we're now attaching the bottom leg parts which is this so we have used our Craig jig and drilled the holes in advance so now we just have to line it up and zip 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 Dana and I messed up <laughs> anyways so we put the lag nuts into the tabletop which 
was kind of thinking maybe that's not the strong. Anyways, with Dana's dad's help, we've changed the design to make it much stronger. So what we've done is we have removed, in a, earlier in the video you saw that we put two boards together. We have removed the one board. We are now going to put the T-nuts into this board. And then where the T-nuts were originally, which is weak and wrong, we are now going to set this board into that spot drill this board into the table. So this will be an anchor in the table. We will then take our regular thing we've made, put it on top and put the bolts through, which will anchor it to here. So now that this board is properly attached to the tabletop, we're taking our legs you can see here, placing them on top like we had them before. And now we're putting the bolts down and through. Securing that, it'll be way, way stronger. Yeah, better design. Okay, so this is way better. Go ahead. Screw them on. Oh, they know how this works. I go like this, it goes down. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Let's go get lunch. Okay. okay, so we've got the legs fully attached on. We have our bolts and our washers attached to this 2x4 and this 2x4 is attached to the base of the table from the underside. Then next we're going to do the cross piece. We're going to measure from not this upper board here but the second one 2x4. We're going to measure from that side over to the other side and then we'll attach it with pocket hole screws going across this way and then we need to measure our cross pieces that are going to go diagonally. Well, now we're doing the cross piece from legs to legs. We have Craig jigged two oh. holes here, pocket holes, uh -huh. pocket holes here, and two on that side, and we're just going to... Screw into this. Yeah. Okay. One thing that we're realizing, you really have to sort of think ahead on where you put all your screws and stuff, otherwise they end up bumping into each other. So we're learning. We could both be in this video, but the camera's not working out today. Yeah. It's just not the way it's working with this project. But I'm here. So, <laughs> but I'm helping, trust me. Yes, big time. This is a group project, we're having fun. So this is our cross piece. So what we've done is 20 degree angles on Going each side. Opposite direction. Opposite direction. Just slowly measure and then mark. We ended up right having there. to sand down a little section of the top one to make it nice and snug. Yeah, because we want it to come up against this piece really nicely. So you can play around with it to make things fit better. So then we did our pocket holes, right? They're there, and then the other one is on the top. On the top, because you've got you to look at how you can screw it in. And because of this piece, we couldn't access it if we put them on top. So just look at everything before you do it. So now, this piece fits in here. Pretty beautiful. So we're going to screw it in here, which is a two person job. I don't know if we'll be able to film it. And then we'll do that. I, I wish we could stop, but I guess we're supposed to have a piece that goes this way or something. So we'll work on that next. Cross piece. Do they need it? Do they need it? But we don't need to show you all that. We'll show you when we're No, done. do we have to do it? I just want this table to be done. I'm having fun, but I want it to be done. <laughs> He's having a hissy fit, guys. Alright, you guys. Here is the finished, unfinished project. It's upside down still. But we got the crossbars put in. That is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> but we will stain this puppy up and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Say good job, Jace. <laughs> We're good. tired. It was fun. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous.
I'm so excited to get this outside. We are sealing it up with a polyurethane. Go ahead, Jason, you wanna talk about it? Yeah, yeah, so we went, after talking with the guy at Lowe's, super helpful, um, talked about how shiny we want it, and uh, the not conditions. Not so shiny. Not so shiny in the conditions, everything like that, super helpful guy. So we went with a urethane based indoor outdoor sealer mm -hmm. and it's a clear semi-gloss and we ended up going with Minwax Pro Series. I think you can probably pick a comparable one from just about any brand but you can see, in fact maybe I'll try to get a close up, how it's really sealing in this one side versus the other side. But yeah, yeah we just got to seal this thing up, we're going to do a couple coats. I kind of want to do as many layers as possible but otherwise that's what we're going to do. Weight or something. Like I'm not? <laughs> okay, go on. We have a corner clamp? No. A corner clamp? No such thing. There is a corner clamp. Oh, is there? Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Ah. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. Not to self, put this all in the bloopers. <laughs> Boot them, screw them. them together. Where's the screws? This is a leg, right? This one has no screws. We screwed all the rest. We did? Do we have an extra leg? This is three. This one didn't get that screwed. One? We messed up. Say it again. Okay. <laughs> you just want me to say I messed up twice. <laughs> That's all you want. <laughs>